What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and this video I want to give a beginner's guide to Windbound. Now, uh, now when I say beginner's guide, and I know when people see guides on YouTube, they may be, you know, I'm not going to list off like a thousand things. I'm not going to give you guys like a thesis on this, uh, you know, on how to survive this game. But I want to really talk about literally when you first start this game, what are some things you should be doing uh, to keep yourself alive to get into this game? I reviewed this game yesterday, or maybe even the day before, on a podcast now and again this is coming from somebody who is not good at these games and so that's honestly the kind of you know thing that this is it's kind of somebody who is not used to these games someone who jumped in this game kind of on a whim uh, giving these kind of tips to other people that are maybe doing the exact same thing and honestly like I said in the review a thing to note and so we can jump right into this by the way the thing to note with this game when you jump right in is the the islands are procedurally generated okay so you're not going to have exactly the same island set up as everybody, okay, as, or as somebody else. But the thing to note is this is a survival game. So you have stamina, you have health, you will lose these things. In fact, if you run too much, you will, you know, you know, you have a base bar of stamina that can go down and up, but then your overall stamina does deplete over time because of, uh, of being tired. Actually, technically, like not eating. Eating is the only thing you can do really to bring that thing back up, especially early on, okay? So you have that. If you lose all your stamina, your health, you know, your health is going to follow very quickly. Here Here's what I would recommend, okay? Uh, now, I made a grave mistake of trying to kind of uh, stretch myself too far in this game too early. The thing to note, kind of with any survival game probably, but because I don't play them often, is to get every material you could possibly get. But also kind of being picky, especially early on, because you're going to mainly need, like, your rock throwing, like your sling. You're going to need a spear of some kind. And you're also probably going to eventually want to get things for a fire and a canoe. The canoe, honestly, is so, so important early on because you do very quickly run out of islands, okay? You start on like a base one. There's probably going to be one relatively close to you and maybe one other, if you're lucky, that you may be able to swim to. But beyond that, you are going to go nowhere in this game after that unless you have a canoe. So getting the canoe, getting the materials for that is absolutely the number one thing to do. Also focusing on the enemies. Now here's the tough thing with enemies is you know, and maybe I just suck at this game, but they are kind of difficult. Now, I would say one of the weaknesses with this game overall is kind of the locking on and the kind of, like, combat system that this game has. It's a little difficult. Uh, there are, like, kind of bunny-like-ish creatures in this game. You can attack them. They pose no threat to you, although they, I believe, do not give you any meat. Okay, they give you other things. Uh, now, you'll have basically, like, hogs in this game. You'll have kind of kid ones, and then you'll have, like, its mom. I would suggest going after the kid ones, trying to isolate them. Now, they run away from you if you just run up to them, okay? Uh, now, I should say the smaller ones, the ones that kind of don't really pose all that much of a threat. Their, their kind of mother, their leader, also like the bigger enemies, if they see you, if they get too close to you, they will attack you, okay? So that is something uh, to keep in mind. But the smaller ones, if you kind of run at them, they'll run themselves away. Sometimes they'll even run themselves into a corner. That's probably the best time to strike. Now, they constantly will be running if you're moving. So uh, doing your crouching, which on PlayStation is like L1, doing that is very, very important to be able to get close to them, uh, getting as close to them as humanly possible. Again, if you enter like your combat stance, you'll kind of force the enemy to... to basically fight you, which is a little weird kind of system that I don't love about this game, but it is a way, by the way, of, of not only isolating one, but getting them actually to kind of stay still, stay in one area so you can fight them. So I would suggest doing that. Isolate one, either sneak up on it or enter kind of like the combat stance with it and take it out. I would say you don't need to do this all that often, but always have some sort of meat, like have meat on you, okay? Uh, now, meat actually degrades over time, another beautiful thing that, that this game does. It makes it uh, honestly challenging. If you do it and then you go through maybe like an entire day, your meat will degrade and you won't be able to use it anymore, okay? Now, you can eat raw meat, but you also, uh, you can eat it, but it's not necessarily a good idea. You can also eat blueberries or like the berries on bushes. That's probably a good idea anytime you find that. But the number one thing to do is to always cook the meat, and so you need fire for for that. So again, what I would say, first two things you should do, again, getting the canoe, getting those weapons, those basic things. Also, at some point, you're going to want to get like the bag pouch that opens up like seven more slots for you. I did that almost immediately, and I found it to just be very, very good for me because I am a guy that, you know, I run past like the thick grass. I'm like, I need all of that. Even though I don't actually need it, I need it. So to have different slots or to have more slots than you, you know, you start off with, 
to me, is fantastic. Because also, much like any survival game, you can only carry so much of a, of a thing. I think so, like, thick grass, let's say it's like 9 or 10. You can only carry so many before it takes up another slot, right, and it starts to add it again. So you can have, like, 5, 6, 7, 8 of these things, but once you get too high, it'll eventually take up more slots. Now, again, you're going to want all these different things. I mean, having a canoe, putting the mast on the canoe, all this different stuff, it does take a, a lot of materials. And the islands do a pretty good good job. But I would say if you do that, if you take it slow, if you focus on only the small enemies, if you focus on, I would say, increasing your inventory before you even need to, honestly, because again, eventually you're going to get to the point where you're going to want to have all of these different things. And by the way, as you go through the different chapters, there's different resources that become available. So the more slots you have, which I think only you can only have like one bag at a time, so you can only have an additional seven slots in a given time. But to have that, is the best way of doing it, in my opinion. You are you're able to uh, constantly be getting more materials that you'll be able to craft. Pretty much, when when you know that you're doing okay in this game, is when you say, "Oh, I need a fire tonight," and you go to the crafting you know section. You go to fire and you say, "Okay, I already have all this stuff." That's when you know you're doing pretty good. In the beginning, obviously, that's not the case. In the beginning, you got to look at the material list and say, "Okay, I just flat out don't have these things. I need to start to you know get all of them." Honestly, that's pretty much it. The game can, and I said this in my review, honestly, you can get through this game pretty quickly if you just focus on getting your canoe, going from lighthouse to lighthouse, I guess getting a couple you know, things of meat you know, here and there, eating them, because then once you get to each chapter, your health and stamina will be you know, brought back up for you. So you don't, it's a survival game that is difficult if you like want it to be, okay? If you like literally, and, and by the way, there is also a setting where if you die in this game, you can lose everything, pretty much everything that you have. So that's something you can play with if you want to. You don't have to though. So the game can be difficult if you play it like a survival game at the same time again something that I, I I've said I actually really like about this game is because of the beauty because of it's a different kind of game or a game that I think isn't just designed for like the hardcore survival genre gamers I think you can do a lot of this game without really focusing all that all that much on the survival aspect so again I would say get as many materials as you can early I would say get a bag as early as you can get the canoe almost immediately like literally wake up from your slumber find and then start building the canoe okay because honestly again you're going to be stuck on just a few islands to start with and you're going to need food probably relatively quickly so you're going to want a canoe to at least get you to an island that has enemies and then you can kind of figure it out from there uh, but you know it, much like any survival game constantly making sure you have materials is the best way of doing it so if you see something and you're able to do it you get it and then you know, you kind of keep leveling up because eventually you can get shovels you can get all these different kinds of things and you just kind of keep building up from there. That's how these games kind of always work, right? So guys, let me know in the comments below. Is there any other tips, tricks, guide kind of things uh, for beginners of this game? Someone who's never played this game? Someone who maybe doesn't even play these kind of games? What would you tell them? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.